WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. The Dow is down 83. It was up uh, earlier on. It ran all the way to uh, 34,111. Uh, we're looking at it trading right now, 33,880. Uh, quite a bit of a pullback, uh, just near term. And we're looking at the S&P, which finally in the weekly chart did go out of that inside track repellent zone. Uh, that has supported 39.50, and right now it's trading at 4,055. Uh, this is an F slash B in the Chapman Wave methodology in the daily chart, but a very nice move to the outside of that finally in the weekly. And look at the QQQ did the same thing. QQQs are up, uh, let's see, up 39, up 40 cents at 293.76. Look at that, almost hit the left side high of 296.88, but it stopped dead right at the 295. Uh, what was the high today? 295.50. That's uh, 40 cents away from the 200 period moving average. This is where we can start to see some kind of a resistance. IWM is the same thing. The Russell 2000. Russell 2000 didn't make a new high today. So, so far, it looks like it could be a peak D. But it got out for the third week. It's outside of that inside track repellent zone. That's really important. Now, gold had been holding very well. Uh, it is trading right now down five at 1941. Just in this process of trying to arch over to start testing the 1920s as key support. Looking at silver, it's been much weaker. Silver today is down. Uh, let's see where is it down? Uh, 47 cents at 23.55. Really has to hold 23s. That's going to be important support. Looking at crude oil, that that did very nicely. Crude oil uh, ran up. Now it's holding. Uh, it's down a little bit. It's down 57 cents at 80.44. I also think this is in a digestive phase. And that just gives the dollar a chance. Now, it hasn't done it yet, but it gives a chance to move a little higher, and that's going to be the test for us. They said 101.97. Only when the dollar is actually trading the 102.80 to 102.35 area can you say, hey, that is a turn, and it's kind of breaking out to the upside. It hasn't done it yet. And if you're looking at the TLT bonds, uh, bonds are now trading down 45 cents at 106.53, just stuck in the range. So what I'm going to say is watch the rest of the day. If the Dow is actually down 70 or more after 2 o'clock, because there's options expiration, that suggests there's going to be a weak close and we probably have a little bit of weakness going to early next week. But there is fund buying. That gives us some support. So um, we're, we're, we're right in the area of digesting some huge gains that have been made in different indices and so on. Have a wonderful rest of the, week, of the week, a day and the weekend. See you on Monday. Stay tuned for a great program. And uh, check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. Thank you.